Hey guys, even here, did you guys think that I'm not gonna post a video today? Well, if you did, you were wrong. Uh, Thursday is actually my rest day and I like to go usually, you know, back home, visit my family, be out on the sun a little bit more, act like I'm a normal human being and not a bodybuilder that is uh, seven or eight weeks out of uh, Prague Pro, by the way, yeah? I know, I know, I'll make a video, I'll make a post, uh, I'll, I'll update you guys, but a little bit later when I feel like my, my conditioning is like good enough to post it here. But yeah, I'm competing in seven, eight weeks weeks i'll try to to win a pro card at Prague pro wish me luck guys and if you are looking for a coach by the way you can hire me you can dm me on instagram we can talk about it i'm very available and i'm very affordable as well so if you guys are looking for somebody who has a lot of experience on stage who is prepping bodybuilders or if you're just looking for you know getting in shape or like getting bigger leaner whatever you can just dm me and we can talk about it and uh, we can start working anyways let's start this video with a physique update of samson dauda at a couple of days, only a couple of days out of France Pro. Now, as you guys know, Samson Dowda decided to make a very bold move and compete at the France Pro at only two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, which is something that most bodybuilders, I would say basically all the top five or top six, seven even bodybuilders wouldn't do, wouldn't risk their peak by doing a show only two weeks prior to the Mr. Olympia. Now, Samson Dauda is doing France Pro, and France Pro is only like six hours drive from his home to the, to the show, literally. That's what he said on Fourabia's podcast in a recent interview. So he's, I I'm guessing, he is not going to do anything uh, drastic uh, peak week-wise. I don't know if he's going to use any diuretics. I think they're probably going to go easy on this peak week. And again, he's going to travel by car, he can just sleep while his wife is driving, as he says, and, you know, it's not going to be that difficult on his body, he's not flying, he's not torturing his body, really, and I don't think he's going to be, like, 100% with conditioning for this show, based on this physique update, at least. The lineup at that show is going to be very weak for Samson Dauda. There is Andrea Presti, who already competed twice and who's probably not going to be at his 100% at that show. And even if he is, I think Samson can be like 70 or 80% and still win because just he's, he's that much better. He's like potentially the next Mr. Olympia and Andrea Presti is like a top 15, top 20 bodybuilder in the world. The other guy that is maybe more of a threat really is Theo Legere. But, yeah, he is no threat to Samson Dowd. Again, Samson can be like 70% with conditioning and still win. And where his conditioning is going to be at, my estimate, based on this physique update is, yeah, yeah, maybe like 70, 80%, I'm guessing, of his maximum potential. Compared to his previous best at the Arnold Classic, well, let's take a look. The four on the left is only a couple of days out of Arnold Classic Ohio earlier this year. And I would say he was a little bit drier, a little bit harder at that show. So compared to his best, let's say his best ever was Arnold Classic Ohio earlier this year. I would say that was his pro probably his best. Um, yeah, I think he's like maybe at 90% uh, to that version of him. Now, the lighting in these two photos is a little bit different, so, like, maybe one photo is more lighted than the other, I don't know, but, like, based on his uh, chest ration and his, uh, like, outer head of the, of the quad, I would say he's, like, 10% off from what he brought to the Arnold Classic, at least at this point, only a couple of days out of Arnold Classic, and now a couple of days out of France. Yeah, I think he's not exactly at his uh, best, but very close to it, very close, almost there almost there. With that look, he's going to win France easily, that's not a question, why am I even answering that? Of course he's going to win. What is going to be interesting is actually seeing him on that stage and basically figuring out how much more conditioned he needs to get for the Mr. Olympia stage. And if he was at like 80% conditioning at the Arnold Classic Ohio and he brings 70% to the France Pro stage, if he brings, let's say, 90% of his conditioning, I'm not even talking about him being 100%, like, that would blow away everybody, but, like, I'm not expecting him to be, like, dry from the back as Derek Lansford or hard from the front as Hardy Japan. I'm expecting him to be 90%, and I think at this point, 
that seems like a possibility. I think that's that's possible. If he continues getting more condition and staying big and full at this pace, if he actually makes more progress from this point at a Mr. Olympia. So what I'm seeing right here is actually looking very promising, but this conditioning is for sure not what he needs to bring to the Mr. Olympia. Like, I'm pretty sure this is not it. He is not ready two weeks out. He is at 70-80% at two weeks out. Can he sharpen up enough to be 90% on the stage? I hope so. I believe it's possible. I want to believe. I'm a believer. But, like, if he showed up on a Mr. Olympia stage like this, he wouldn't win. He wouldn't win. If this was his physique update a couple of days before the Mr. Olympia, I would not have him winning. No way. No way. But, again, there is two weeks and a couple of days left for him to sharpen up, to tighten up, to harden up. And it's enough time, in my opinion. The only question is, can he do it? Will he do it? Is he able to do it? Is he willing to do it? We'll see. Soon enough. What do you guys think? All right, the next thing we got is uh, very, very interesting. So, our current men's physique Mr. Olympia... Ryan Terry is photoshopping his photos. You heard it right. The guy who is the actual Mr. Olympia is photoshopping his photos. So if you go and check out his comment section, it's on fire right now. There is a whole bunch of these kind of comments. Photoshopping as a Mr. O is crazy. Why, champ? Why, why, why? You must photoshop, blah, blah, blah. There is a whole bunch of these kind of comments. What happened? Well, again, Goop caught him. A couple of photos that uh, Ryan posted recently were edited. Like, his shoulders especially were blown up a little bit. I don't even know how did uh, Goop catch this, but, like, yeah, like, the, 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 the machines in the background are bending, so, yeah, somebody did Photoshop these photos. And actually, Ryan, Terry, did not ignore this completely, the way, for example, Mike Sommerfeld did who is also photoshopping his photos and actually not paying his designers for the designs and using the designs and so on. Ryan Terry actually manned up here and uh, he made a video, he made a story in which he basically explains what happened. So let me play this for you guys. Let's see if you can actually justify what happened here. I wanted to come on here because of the things what are transpiring this evening uh, with regards to a picture I posted yesterday uh, on my grid. Yes, it's been exposed for, for Photoshop. It was very innocently done. I'm out here in New York and I haven't got my videographer out here. So innocently, a friend of mine, Johnny, who is with me every step of the way through, he sent them across, he did edit that image. Um, my own fault, I should have checked it. I should have been more, um, yeah, more vigilant on, on what I put out on my images, uh, on my posts and stuff. But I didn't. I just literally post out. I'm in diet prep mode. I like the images from, from looking at them and I just posted them. So error on my part, error on Johnny's part, but it was an innocent error. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm not going to lie. All right. So here is the photo that he posted, the original and the edited photo. Um, like the first part when he talks about uh, not having his videographer with him and he needs a videographer to added his photos, like, look at the original and the edited one, like, there is basically no difference. It's only the shoulders that are a little bit blown up. That's it, really. There is no editing here. So, is that part about his friend editing his photos, is that true, really? Like, do these guys really have people who are editing their photos for them? Like, this looks like a, like an iPhone photo, like, taken very quickly, I mean... Does he really need a videographer to edit a photo like this? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not this kind of uh, influencer. I don't know what these guys are doing. But let's assume it's true. If it is true that his friend edited this, then, yeah, like, it's possible that he didn't see that his shoulders were bigger in, in a new photo. Like, it's a very slight difference. I don't even know how Goop caught this. But, yeah, like, stuff in the background is bending and, like, shoulders are a little bit bigger. But not that much, really. And the fact that he addressed this and, you know, he explained what happened, yeah, I respect him for that. Now, on the other hand, does it even matter if he is photoshopping his photos? He is the Mr. Olympia, after all. Oh, I think it does. I think it does for sure. I mean, it's not going to affect his placement at the Mr. Olympia, for sure. As far as his competitive career, it has no impact on that, but... 
Still, man, I don't like to see this. People photoshopping stuff, lying and doing this kind of uh, trickery. I don't like it. I don't like to see this. It, it, it's nasty. It's horrible. So let's believe. I believe that what he says really happened. And if it didn't, he at least addressed that. And I don't think this, something like this is going to happen again. Because, yeah, like, guys, be careful. If you're doing this kind of stuff, Goob is going to catch you. <laughs> Anyways, tell me what you think, guys, down below in the comment section. So the next thing is a physique update of Brett Wilkin, also a couple of days out of Legion Sports Fest, and this show actually seems like it's going to be a quite decent show. I mean, France is going to be awesome because of Samson Dawada, but if there wasn't for Samson Dawada, Legion would be a better show, a bigger show. Let me show you the lineup, actually. There are actually two more names who I didn't screenshot because the list was too long. And I don't know who they are, and I highlighted a couple of guys that I know of, like Jason Love, Patrick Moore, yeah, he's doing it, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Nigien, but it's not like that, I think it's something much simpler, like, and one, something like that. Uh, Justin Rodriguez, he's coming back, I know, I thought he retired, but I guess not yet. Uh, Bruno Santos, actually, who just won in UK, is actually competing again before the Mr. Olympia one more time in USA. He's doing it, and we have Brett Wilkin, who is the favorite, but, pff, I mean, Bruno Santos is very good, so this is not gonna be a cakewalk for Brett, as it seemed. It's actually gonna be a pretty good show, and I guess Brett is lucky that Samson didn't jump in, that he decided to stay in Europe until the Mr. Olympia, and as you can see, very good lineup, a lot of bodybuilders, maybe there are some really good guys here that I don't know of, but as far as these big name guys, you know, Patrick Moore can surprise, Justin Rodriguez, I mean, I think he's done, I think he can't come back and look uh, as good as he once did, Bruno Santos versus Brett Wilkin, that's gonna be a good call out, I think. And I'm pretty sure Brett's got it, because it seems like he is bringing some really good conditioning. Look at his glutes, and hamstrings, and the lower back. Like, imagine if Samson Dauda brought this kind of conditioning. It would be lights out for everybody, but, like, Samson doesn't have this type of, like, uh, skin texture. You know, Brett has that, like, tight skin plastic look. It reminds me a lot of Phil Heath, you know, in the hamstrings and glutes, everywhere, basically, but, like, especially in that area... And like overall, he is very, very symmetrical, very aesthetic, very, very freaky, like big and now conditioned as well. Yeah, I think Brett is going to win Legion Sport, but I don't know, Bruno Santos is also a very good competitor. So it's going to be a very interesting show. Down below in the comment section, guys, tell me what do you think. If you're looking for coaching, once again, DM me on Instagram. And if you want to show me some love, some support, buy Hostile Supplements and use code EVAN10 for a 10% discount. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, see you soon, all the best guys, and bye-bye.